Hi, this is Justice with LearnBuildBox.com. I'm going to show you guys what I figured out in trying to make a moving platform. I, I went through the other tutorial that was on uh, the forums and it showed a uh, similar type of setup. Uh, this right here was a block. It was up here and then down here there was another block and then there was another one up here and it was separated by a single platform and then you hung the platform down here. So it was a top-down rig. And I created it. It took me quite a while to figure out uh, what each of these different objects needed to be, whether platforms or physics or fixed or, um, or physics objects. Um, and I finally got it figured out. But then every time I would do it, it seemed like these connectors would snap and I would have my objects fall down and end up on the screen and it just was not usable. So I played around and came up with this other rig which I'm going to demonstrate to you. I have it set up down uh, above my scene. Uh, this is part actually of the new infinite levels feature. Uh, you can make your levels bigger up here and this way as well in a number of different ways. I'll do a tutorial on that shortly that should be up. I would check that out because this is actually one of the coolest features that they added in version 1.1. 1 .1. Alright, so to make this easier, I brought my character up here. I'll go through what these different things are. I made this a uh, rotating gear because I think it helps explain the concept a little bit better. I picture, instead of the connector being here, I picture it going around here in this wider circle. And what that helps me to visualize is this going forwards, pushing this out, and then as this goes here, it pushes forwards, and as it pulls back over here, it pulls this back. And this is built on top of this. So because these are connected, it's lifting this up. Now we're going to ignore this over here because this is kind of an extension of the rig, but it's not really necessary. You could do this uh, completely without. I'll go ahead and delete that for that purpose. So this is a physics object. It's fixed, which I call a POF. And that POF right here stays in place. It doesn't matter if there's any collision or anything connected to it because ideally this would be down here below your entire level. Now this is sandwiched right here. And the reason this is sandwiched this is a platform with physics, which is a PP. And these are terms I will probably use in the future because otherwise it gets a little confusing for me. Uh, you guys may be different. But this uh, right here, if we sandwich this PP in between these platforms, and the collision is turned on for all of these objects right here. And so this slides back and forth and stays in these bounds. Now if we didn't have this platform on top, when our character came over here, doo -doo 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 -doo, he would run into this collision object as it was moving back and forth, and he would have to jump over it or would collide into it, and that's not what I want. I would like this to be underneath, out of the, out of the way, and allow just for my uh, moving platform to do its job. So my character will come over here, he'll jump on the platform, and unfortunately right now I cannot seem to get any friction on this platform which I heard was a complaint someone else had as well. If you guys can help me figure this out, that would be great. I'd be really thankful, and I think everyone in the community would be thankful. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate this. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect this. The process, by the way, is parent, child, child, parent, child, child, babies. All right, so these babies are actually animated bats, animated bat babies, uh, AMBs for short. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click play. You guys will get a chance to see this. And uh, also, if you guys have any other tutorial requests, please feel free to put it in the comments or go to www.buildbox.com and there's a section there where you can add suggestions for tutorials. And anytime you have something to add, I would love to hear it. And I'm very open to learning from everyone in the community. I think it's definitely the best way to go. All right, so you'll notice this platform is moving forwards. And let's see if it moves backwards. It does. Hurrah! Okay, so I'm going to jump on top. You'll notice 
if I don't do anything here, the platform will move right out from underneath me. All right, now over here in this rig section over here, what I wanted to demonstrate, this bat has um, physics, which means it's animated. This allows for animation. This one is fixed, so there's no animation. Now you notice these guys are just kind of tipping back and forth while this one is spinning. Now the reason he's spinning is the connector right here that connects him to this has a speed of 10 attached to it. I'll show you that. So if you want your different objects to have different properties, this is really important to understand how this works. This one's speed of 10. Torque 200 is what was already set up uh, by default. I don't know what torque does uh, in BuildBox. And this also has a feature for button activated. I also don't know what button activated does. So if anyone has information on these things, uh, obviously speed is making this twirl, but I think there's probably some other functions that speed can be used for. Um, this one being fixed doesn't allow for animation on the object. At least that's my experience. All right, physics, platform. This one's PP is twirling is animated. This one is PF, so it is fixed, no animation. But again, it moves back and forth just fine. And the same things as these ones. I have all the collision turned off because I'm using these as decorations. All right, you guys, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And I will uh, hopefully hear back from you guys soon with any questions, comments, or um, features that you guys would like to see or can help me make better. The second way that uh, I figured out how to do, the first way I did not figure out how to do, the second way I came up with, uh, on my own and I think this way works better um, this other way for some reason these drop they just don't want to stay where they're at it feels like uh, the torque is too much on the rope and the rope snaps and we we lose our platform and all of our animations uh, that are flying around uh, this way if you can see here is using the same exact setup, the physics object down here is fixed, it's got an angular velocity of minus 12, and then we sandwich between these two platforms our other, um, this is a platform with physics turned on, and I'm not sure how much physics will make a difference here because it's sandwiched in here and collision is turned on, so it can't escape. However, uh, I have this set the same way because I have a feeling this may spin around in a circle. Um, I'm not sure why, but it might. If you guys want to give it a shot and tell me how it goes, uh, feel free to do that. All right, so then I just connected up here. I connected from here to here to here. This last one is a platform. It's fixed. It has collision turned on because I'd like to jump on it. Now, doing it this way, I can jump on this platform as often as I want, and it doesn't seem to break. Uh, ideally, this would be then uh, down here below the uh, the level and then this would be controlling up this would be your floor it'd be down here in the flooring and this would be your floating platform above and that seems to work okay at though the same problem as before as I cannot seem to get um, friction on this so whenever he jumps up here I can show this whenever he jumps up here he slides off now you can press back and forth and use it and there's nothing wrong with it it's a different dynamic but i don't think it's the end goal. all right so I, I brought my character on top because it makes it a whole lot easier for us to see what's going on all right so he is on top now. and he can do this you know just you push back and forth as the platform moves adds a little bit of extra challenge which is okay but I like the idea of there being friction or that at least being an option. Alright, so that does it for this tutorial. Thanks you guys for watching.